All right, let's go ahead and take a look at Jacob. Jacob is one of our new left-handed players, been on the team a few years, but very unique style. And if you take a look at it right at the stance, it's very, very normal. You'd actually see the ball placement, you know, more towards the center of the body, close to his belly button. But after that, that's where things kind of get different. You're gonna see a rotation of his upper arm and his hand. You can see the hand get on the way on the inside of the bowling ball on this front view. And he's almost like he cups it inside on his wrist. As he comes back, the right shoulder is out here in front, leading well, keeps that shoulder back. As he follows it, he almost will uncoil that wrist. So you'll see that cupping and that uncoil. So it's a very unique style that he has developed. He has a, quite a bit of flexibility in both his ankles, his wrists, his elbows, a lot of the flexibility. And he's been able to develop this style and repeat it. He has actually been very dominant out on the professional bullet tour, especially on some of the harder shots. Let's take a look at a side view of it. And as we take a look at Jacob here, he starts to go. You can see that he has a run because the one thing he has to get moving is get that ball speed because of his RPMs and his rev rate. He has to have some ball speed and he doesn't have a very much of a backswing. You see here it's below shoulder height and it's coiled up. But right here, he drives through the shot. You can see this real drive and acceleration. And his elbow comes on the inside and his hand comes inside of the bowling ball. Let's take a look at it from the top. You can see that unique angle. So as Jacob is coming forward, you can see that coiling of the wrist, the hand, the elbow. And then he just lets it uncoil right here at the bottom and actually comes on the backside. So if you've seen this part here, you'd almost think he threw a reverse hook or a backup ball of his hand position. And that's because the position prior to release, he's really cupped on it, and he comes out and comes actually through the bowling ball. Well, let's take a look at the back two to get a unique look at Jacob's style. So as he starts, you can't see the ball, which is good, pushes the ball up the lane, but now here's where it kind of changes for most styles. You can see the coiling of the elbow, the wrist, and the hand. And he can actually almost get in like a position of a lot of the two-handers, but he only is using one hand. You see his wrist cupped and coiled as he comes into the bottom. And look at this here. There's almost 90 degrees. There's quite an angle if you look at his elbow to his wrist to his hand or fingers. An extreme angle. And then he just uncoils. And that's what gives Jacob the unique role that he has and the RPMs that he's able to generate on the links.